Good everyone, so today we're going to discuss quarter 1, module number 3, solving quadratic equation with factoring where a is equal to 1. Step number 3, we have your x squared minus 5x is equal to negative 4. So step number 1, gawin mo na itong standard form. Paano? We need to add the additive inverse of negative 4 which is positive 4 on both sides of the equation. So we have here x squared minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0. Naka-standard na yan dahil yung isang side mo ay equal na sa 0. Step number 2, putin natin yung factors ng ating equation. And to do that, kailangan natin yung value ng ating C, which is 4, and value ng ating B, which is negative 5. Now, let's get all the factors of 4. So that is negative 4 times negative 1, 4 times 1, 2 times 2, and negative 2 times negative 2. Now, ang next na gagawin natin sa ating mga factors ay i-add natin. Negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5. 4 plus 1 is positive 5. 2 plus 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. Now, let's take a look of our B. B value is negative 5. So, alin sa mga factors na ito na kapag inad natin, ang sagot ay negative, that is negative 4 and negative 1. So, our factors are quantity x minus 4 times quantity x minus 1 is equal to 0. Third step, apply zero product property. So, kung sinabi natin zero product property, i-equate natin yung bawat factor natin sa zero. Now, to find the value of x, we need to add the additive inverse of minus 4, which is plus 4 on both sides of the equation. On the other hand, the additive inverse of minus 1, which is positive 1 on both sides of the equation. So, we have here x, negative 4 plus 4 is 0, is equal to 0 plus 4 is 4. On the other hand, x, negative 1 plus 1 is 0, is equal to 0 plus 1 is, therefore, the value of x is x is equal to 4, or x is equal to 1. In solution set, that is 1, 4. Item number 4, we have your x squared is equal to negative 4x plus 12. So step number 1, we write natin into standard form by adding the additive inverse of negative 4x, which is positive 4x, and additive inverse of plus 12, which is negative 12, on both sides of the equation. So we have here x squared plus 4x minus 12 is equal to negative 4x plus 4 is 0, 12 minus 12 is 0. Naka-standard form na dahil yung side natin ay naka-equal sa 0. Step number 2, punin natin yung, hanapin natin yung factors ng x squared plus 4x minus 12. And to find that, kailangan natin yung value ng c, which is negative 12, and to get its factor. So, ang bang dalawang number, if you multiply, will give you negative 12. So, that is negative 12 times 1, negative 1 times 12, negative 4 times 3, negative 3 times 4, negative 6 times 2, negative 2 times 6. Next step, kailangan natin yung value ng B natin, which is B is equal to 4. So, yung nakuha natin factors, i-add natin. Negative 12 plus 1 is negative 11. Negative 1 plus 12 is positive 11. Negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1. Negative 3 plus 4 is positive 1. Negative 6 plus 2 is negative 4. And negative 2 plus 6 is positive 4. Now, alin sa mga factors mo po na kapag inad natin, equal ito sa positive 4. And that is negative 2 and 6. Take note, kapag minutiply natin si negative 2 sa 6, that is negative 12 na value ng ating C. At kapag inad naman natin, negative 2 plus 6 is equal to 4, which is the value of our P. Therefore, our factors are quantity x minus 2 times quantity x plus 6. Step number 3. Step number 3. Use zero product property. Sa magaling salita, lahat ng factors mo ay equate mo sa zero. To find the value of x, we need to add the additive inverse of minus 2, which is plus 2 on both sides of the equation. On this side, to find the value of x, we need to add the additive inverse of positive 6, which is negative 6 on both sides of the equation. So we have here x, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, is equal to 0 plus 2 is 2. On the other hand, we have your x, 6 minus 6 is 0 is equal to 0 minus 6 is negative 6. Therefore, the value of x is x is equal to negative 2 or x is equal to negative 6. In solution set, we have here negative 6, 2. 